Hi, my name is Mark Nedgemo from Newsweed.com. Today is July 21st, 2021, and I got a couple interesting stories that I'm going to go over with you briefly. Uh, big problems out of Israel with their new uh, Pegasus software that they've kind of infiltrated the world with, which is spying on just about everyone. Uh, this software can even turn your camera on uh, and turn your recorder on as well as record your keystrokes. This is a very dangerous situation since there is an elimination of all freedoms of privacy around the world. Even in India, there's an uproar from the use of this Pegasus software that's spying in people in India. It's a very terrible thing. The way this all happened is Israel's company started the company, then sold it to Francisco Partners, which is a private equity firm, and then the private equity firm uh, sleekly sold it back to the Israeli firm. Very dangerous software. The software is called Pegasus because of a mythical winged horse which is used for war. Anyway, in other news, huge rains have hit China in the Shenzhou province, drowning people caught in subways. Uh, the same type of rain recently hit Germany uh, with rains over three days equating to the amount of rain that they typically get in one year. Tremendous floods. It's terrible. However, rain is a beautiful thing, and it means life. So much so that in Iran, in the Kazakhstan province, people are fighting over water. As a matter of fact, two police officers were shot, one was killed, and two civilians were killed as well. On a lighter note, that black magic delicious drink called Coca-Cola with the little bubbles in it, well, that company's sales rolled 37%, and it's driving the stock symbol KO straight up. We reported yesterday that Canada had eased its uh, border restrictions. Well, now America has tightened border restrictions on Canada and on Mexico. Mexico, we can understand. Canada, it just seems like the, the two countries just can't agree. Johnson & Johnson showed heavier profits today due to its COVID vaccine, even though there are many health problems with it, and they are expected to have a booster shot soon. Great news. The Biden administration may not be as big a socialist as we thought. Well, at least from one point of view. Their Federal Trade Commission uh, person that they had assigned, Lena Khan, seems to make a very good argument against Amazon. She likes um, the fact that she should change the Federal Trade Commission's policy on monopoly. Lena Khan, a name you should remember, Lena Khan from Columbia University, again, a very left-leaning university, argues that Amazon, and the type of monopoly it is, is not good, even though it has lower prices and faster deliveries. She argues that this is a temporary situation that eventually it will destroy innovation in the country. I happen to personally agree with her. Companies like Facebook, Amazon, and other large companies like Google, who dominate the tech space with their digital services, also dominate and eliminate competition. This is a very, very big problem. So, three cheers for Lena Khan. Um, I believe she does definitely make the argument properly. Um, one other bit of news, you know that junk car you had out in your driveway that you heard the prices were going up on? Well, they've leveled off now. So if you're going to sell that car, you better ask a reasonable price and get it done quick. That's the news I have for you today. I hope you all enjoy yourself. And... Remember, it's never as it seems.